man, this car is a lot of fun to drive. Dropping the roof just gives this car so much just atmosphere and environment, you know? Now that we got the top down, this is how this car was meant to be driven. I'm hardly moving, I'm doing like 40 kilometers an hour, but listen, listen to that. Best car ever, best car ever. This thing is absolutely insane. Oh, <laughs> this is a fantastic car. This handles so good. Oh my! One day I will own an S2000. I am. I have decided this will replace my car. It's no secret that I'm a big fan of small rear-wheel drive roadsters. Every time I get behind the wheel of one, it just puts a huge smile on my face. The wind in your hair, the striking exterior appearance, the sporty cabin space. The trouble is, I've never been able to figure out which one to get. You see, towards the more affordable end, I could have got an MGF or an MRS or a Z3 or an MX-5, but they're pretty old, which means they're all going to need six monthly wafts, and they're a little slower than I'd like, and the interiors of them are quite small, cheap, and a little bit tinny feeling. Going to the other price extreme would have netted me an S2000, which to me is unquestionably one of the best cars I've ever driven. It's got a relatively spacious and reasonably well-built interior. It looks fantastic on the outside. The engine and transmission combination is a masterpiece and it's decently quick and will hold its value. All boxes ticked then. Well, the trouble is, right after I turned down a pretty tidy, reasonably low K's S2000 for 17 grand three years ago and bought a 10 grand Integra Type R instead, the prices of S2000s tripled after lockdown and I just don't really think they're worth it anymore. At that kind of money, I'd be a lot more interested in a Boxster S or M235i. An S2 isn't off the table for the future, but at the moment, with the prices inflated, I just don't think it's a good time to buy. So basically what I needed was something in the middle. Not too cheap, old and slow that I wouldn't really enjoy it, but not too expensive either, where it meant that I wouldn't be able to hold on to my Accord as well. And unfortunately to get what I really wanted, I had to step away from Honda. I've never really truly understood BMW. I was always told they were horrendously unreliable and only driven by angry tailgating businessmen wearing polo shirts, Ray-Bans and with a Bluetooth earpiece in, never using their indicators. But then I met my good friend Jack, who through a series of BMWs of his own proved to me that there's a bit more to this brand than the memes suggest. I learned that if you buy the right model with the right engine and with the blinker fluid topped up, you're left with a decently reliable, very well equipped, comfortable rear wheel drive driver's car with some of the best engine and transmission combos on the market for the era, for a very reasonable amount of money. So, on Boxing Day 2021, I made the switch. As much as I would have loved an S2000, this ticks every single box for me. It's extremely comfortable, very spacious inside, has all the features I look for and is beautifully refined to drive. And most importantly, it has a retractable hardtop, so it won't leak and it's so much quieter on the open road. Pair that up with the silky smooth 2.5 litre straight six engine and this really nice ZF6 gearbox and this is one of the nicest cars I've ever driven. I could genuinely see myself driving this to and from work every single day with no troubles whatsoever. But put it up into Sport Plus, now it'll do this. Great noise, 
It's got just enough power where it's not too scary and ridiculous. If you want to drive it smoothly and sensibly, you can, but turn traction control off, give it a bit of beans, and you can just feel the back end wanting to step out. Turn it in, bit of beans. Oh, that is just what we want. It's just so poised and balanced. The straight six sounds fantastic. You just leave it in second, enjoy the sound. The nice, quick, direct steering on a road like this. This is where this car belongs. The way they've tuned the transmission in this is so different to every other BMW I've ever driven that it just makes it so much better. Just look at how quickly it revs down. It's just so much more snappy and it's way more enjoyable to use for that reason because there's a little bit of gear shock between every gear. You can tell the car is just trying to go as fast as it possibly can. And then you come down a hill like this and you tap the throttle and you get the nice burbles and everything. It's just got a great sound, great chassis. Really nice steering, good throttle response, great transmission performance, the paddles work perfectly. And above all else, it's, it's really fun, but really easy to drive and really comfortable. It's just a do everything sports car, which I've been really, really impressed by. And yes, the S2000 is a better driver's car. It's got a limited slip diff, whereas this doesn't. It's that little bit more edgy, a little bit more feisty, whereas this is you know, it's a bit more smooth and comfortable and refined. And though an S2000 isn't off the cards for the future, this will do me well for now. We're going to have some fun with this. Oh yes we will.